At least NFL superstar Antonio Brown has a nice estate in Florida to go home to after he bizarrely quit his team the Buccaneers mid-game. Despite that strange scene, he's returning to an opulent multi-million dollar mansion in Hollywood, Florida, which even has features like its own synagogue. We'll take a look at this crib, including some of his other properties too. Antonio Brown is an NFL star who's earned a total of around $71 million throughout his playing career in contract, even if he hasn't actually ever been able to collect all that cash. How come? Well, odds are at some point he's going to wind up doing something extremely regrettable and either be traded, cut, or he'll simply decide to walk off. You know, like in the middle of a game. But hey, at least when Antonio throws one of his now infamous fits, he's got a series of killer homes to return to, no matter what city he's in at the time. Like for instance, after ripping off his shoulder pads and throwing his shirt and gloves into the crowd a few days ago, Antonio got to head home to this six $6 million dollar mansion in Florida. And that's far from the only pad Antonio has in his real estate portfolio to use in his escape. When he was playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers, he owned this classic home about 30 minutes north of the city. And even when he ever so briefly played with the Oakland Raiders, he still bought himself this stunning masterpiece. That's where he wound up throwing one of the most over the top I'm free celebrations of all time once he got cut. Hey everyone, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Facebook. Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of Antonio Brown. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. We'll start with the home that Antonio has owned the longest. Upon being drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2010, Antonio would quickly make a name for himself in the league, and by the start of the 2012 season, he had an already earned himself a five-year, $42 million extension. One of the first massive purchases that Antonio made with all that money was picking himself up this five-bed, seven-bath home located in the Pine Township community of Gibsonia for $1.9 million. The unique thing about this area of the city is that it's a relatively small development, but it comes with very large homes. In fact, almost all of them are constructed upon their own acre of land. And as for Antonio's place, well, it's got three acres. The main house features 8,797 square feet of space, including a grand living room with a fireplace and a coffered ceiling. Also on the main floor, the kitchen has a pair of gigantic islands, not to mention Thermador appliances and some smooth wood floors. Upstairs, Antonio's master suite includes a private balcony as well as its own fireplace with an accompanying sitting area and a massive walk-in closet. That's not enough. Downstairs, you'll find a finished basement that offers up a home theater, a gym, sauna, a steam shower, and a full bath. All of that, and I haven't even touched on the outside yet. While living here, Antonio Antonio had a ton of custom built facilities added, including an asphalt basketball court, a turf practice field, and most notably, a totally over the top custom built treehouse. Just how over the top is it? Well, when's the last time you heard of a treehouse coming with its own indoor plumbing? Antonio's treehouse boasts a sleeping loft, a living area with a flat screen TV, a bar, and a bathroom with a full steam shower. Why would he build something like this? I can only assume it's for his kids. Like right now, I just want to stay here. Yeah. Everywhere you go, people want autographs, pictures, and you know, that's amazing and fine. But you know, in life you need a place to get away. Oh, so it's just a place for him to go to avoid other people. All right then, I guess that makes sense too. Of course, this home has actually been pretty empty for a number of years, ever since Antonio was eventually traded from the Steelers to the Oakland Raiders in April of 2019. But once he landed in Oakland, Antonio found himself some brand new dig. I'm gonna keep this next spot brief, almost as brief as Antonio's stay with the Raiders, which actually lasted zero games. You see, after moving to Oakland, just about the only thing that Antonio did do there was buy this jaw-dropping property for $3.3 million. This 3,506 square foot home featured six bedrooms and six bathrooms. It also has its very own pool, entertainment patio, and additional guest house. Featuring a wide open floor plan on the main level, the primary living area of this home combines the living room, a dining room, and kitchen into one massive space. And somewhere on the property, it also has a cryogenic therapy chamber because why not? 
Unfortunately for Antonio, he only got to spend about six months living here before he wound up being cut from the Raiders and listing the home for $3.375 million. Once he found out that he was finally free of the Oakland Raiders, Antonio would head right on over to the New England Patriots, where he'd get cut after one game due to a developing scandal. After getting dropped by the Patriots, Antonio would follow his good buddy Tom Brady to the Buccaneers in Tampa Bay, and that's exactly where we're headed to next. After moving on from New England, Antonio headed off to Hollywood. No, not that Hollywood, this one. That's right, believe it or not, but Florida has a Hollywood all of its very own. And located in the middle of it is this massive 18,000 square foot behemoth of a home. Featuring a staggering bedroom count coming in at a dozen alongside 14 bathrooms, this home also comes with gold paneling in just about every room in the place. This house cost Antonio a reported $6.6 .6 million and he bought it in 2016 which at the time set a record-breaking price for the area. His mansion also offers up an incredible Scarface-esque double spiral staircase in the front foyer that no doubt has most visitors experiencing deja vu. Let's just hope that this place doesn't turn into a war zone like the one at the end of that movie. Beyond that eye-popping entry hall, this home also boasts custom doors, ceilings, Italian marble floors, and world-class finishes. And did I mention it comes with its own synagogue? A few years ago, in Antonio showed up this place to complex and told them why he decided to install a synagogue in his home. Well, because he has friends that are Jewish. While they were there, he also took the time to show off his massive shoe collection upstairs in his gigantic walk-in closet. Beyond all of those kicks, Antonio also installed a state-of-the-art home theater, a centralized climate control computer system, and fully wired this place up, smart home fashion. Out back, he might not have the same level of technology, but he still got his very own outdoor kitchen, a wet bar, and a sprawling saltwater pool to keep him busy. Alright, so now we've taken a look at three of Antonio Brown's homes, including his mega Florida mansion he's likely hiding out in right about now. The question is, now that he's no longer employed by an NFL team, will Antonio be able to afford the upkeep on this opulent place? I guess only time will tell. But for now, I think that'll wrap up this house tour. What did you guys think about Antonio's properties? Did you have a favorite? His Florida home honestly has a little bit too much gold for my taste. Anyways, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all next time.